guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys the story of how my first brand new car was totaled when I was 18 years old. It's actually a pretty crazy story. I never thought I'd witness anything like this in my life. It was, I think it was just like a weeknight, a random weeknight. I was babysitting for this family that I had babysit for a few times. They lived in a really nice neighborhood, quiet. It was like off in the back roads, like you would never like go in the neighborhood if you didn't live there so it was super quiet well i'd only babysat for these kids a couple times when i left to go to their house and then i arrived i parked on the street and i got there a few minutes early so i decided to like text my mom and tell her i was there which i don't always do i don't know i just i did it that time i got out of my car walked up the driveway i could hear like a car coming down the road like super quick i turned around and at this point i was like walking up the driveway, probably almost at the doorbell. All of a sudden, I hear a big crash and their car, well, I see it, like I turned around because I hear the car coming and I see their car basically crash into the side of mine. They hit my front driver's side where like the, your headlight would be. They were coming from behind. So they like, kind of like swerved into mine. I don't know how I saw it. It was so quick, I barely remember it, just because like I was so in shock. Their car hit the side of my, the side of my car, like the front of my car, and they were going so fast, their car flipped over three times. And I saw all of this and I was like, oh my gosh, like is this real life? I, my car also went like a few feet forward. It was like this close, I'm not kidding you, this close to hitting the tree because it like went up onto the grass because they don't have like a curb um, where they in their neighborhood. So it went right up onto the grass. It was crazy. I ring the doorbell because I'm like, I can't, like I can't call 911 right now. Like I'm freaking out and the mom answered the door. I was explaining everything. Obviously she saw as soon as she opened the door. So she took my phone because her phone was like inside I think. And she called 911 off of my phone. I didn't feel comfortable calling just because I was like, I'm freaking out. Like, obviously, if I was there and something happened to the kids, like, yeah, I would have called. There was someone else there, and I literally was shaking so bad because I had just witnessed, like, someone's car flip over three times, and there's still a lady inside of the car. I honestly thought I was dreaming. I was like, no, this can't be real. If your car gets startled, you think it's going to happen, like, on a busy road where, like, people are actually supposed to be going 50, not you're supposed to be going, like, 30 or 25 in a neighborhood, and she definitely was going way over. I can't even imagine how fast she was going to like have hit my car and flip three times. Basically, yeah, the mom called 911 off my phone and they came right away. They were There were so many ambulances, so many fire trucks, police cars, all of that, and basically blocked in. They blocked like the whole street so no one could even come down it. No one could leave. Um, I mean, the mom was supposed to go somewhere and meet her husband. That's why I was babysitting, but she wasn't like too worried, obviously, because my car had just been totaled, so... She was staying there for a little bit until everything had cleared out. They got the woman out of the car and I guess she was fine. Like they told us she'd be fine, minor injuries, which is incredible based on like how fast she was going and how she flipped. Like I really thought she would have been in the hospital for a long time, but I guess she was okay. Now I'm kind of just waiting at the house with the mom and the kids because I need like the cops need to get my information on my car and who I am. And then I need to get, obviously I need to get the information of the person that hit my car. I'm like so anxious at this point, just like waiting and waiting because like I just want to know. I hadn't even been down to the street yet to see the damage because I, I didn't think of it. Like there's a bunch of cops and ambulances. I'm not going to like run down and just check the damage in my car because I really, I really didn't care about that at that point. I was just like so shook that this person was like flipped upside down in their car. After they got like the lady out of the car and every, all like the bigger like ambulances and like fire trucks left, the cop came up to the door, talked to me, got my information and then... He was like, have you seen the damage? And I was like, no. So he took me down to my car to see it. I was like 18 and I just remember asking him like, is this drivable? He's like, nope, definitely not drivable. And at that point I was like, yeah, the car is probably totaled. And the cop thought the same thing. Well, I asked like the cop, do you know what happened? And he said, the lady driving the car said her heel got stuck under the gas. He said under the gas pedal. So she was accelerating, which makes no sense. And the cop was so confused on what she said too. So 
I don't know. I don't know how your heel gets stuck under the gas pedal and you accelerate. Usually you have to press down on the gas. Nothing should be accelerating if your foot's under, but I don't know. I, that wasn't really my biggest concern. Like it happened. Doesn't really matter how, I guess. So whatever. I've got all my information, whatever. I He left. He gave me paperwork that I had to bring home. I had to make some like phone calls to like insurance companies. So then everyone left. I ended up still babysitting. AAA ended up coming and towing my car to my dealership where I got my car. Luckily, my boyfriend was able to pick me up when the parents got home. He was coming home from work and he drives like right past the neighborhood I was babysitting in. So it was super convenient for him to come get me. And I just remember getting in the car and I was like freaking out because like my car was gone. I thought it was totaled. I didn't think I'd ever drive it again. And I made him, I think I made him like take me to McDonald's because I was just so upset. Like I just wanted like food, like good food. Not that McDonald's is like good food. But that's all that was open at like 10 o'clock at night. So after that, I just went home for the night and again, I was just freaking out all night. Like I had so many questions, like what's happening? How am I gonna get around anywhere? And obviously like my parents would drive me places or I could take one of their cars. My mom dealt with a lot of the phone calls, like with insurance companies and my dealership. And I'm pretty sure, so they told us like my car was fine. And I think it was either two weeks or four weeks they said, like they would call us when it's ready. I think it was two weeks, we'll just go with that. They said two weeks, like we'll call you when it's ready to be picked up, should be fine. So that two weeks comes and they call us and they tell us my car is totaled. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I was expecting to get a call saying like, you can come pick up your car, it's ready. But nope, it was totaled. I think they had found something later on after working on it for a while that couldn't be fixed. That's why they couldn't, they didn't call us for so long because they were still working on things. But we had had a rental car for the two weeks that my car was in the shop because we needed an extra car for the house. And I remember they were gonna let us keep the rental car since my car was totaled, but not for too much longer. I was freaking out because I was like, we're gonna have to give the rental car back. I don't have a car and we're not gonna have like an extra car if we need one. I ended up looking for a new car right away. I went to the car dealership that my boyfriend works at. He actually test drove all the cars with me. So I got in like, I only test drove like three or four. He spent like a whole day, went to the dealership, ended up picking out a Jeep Compass and that's my new car. I had that for, I think like, has it been a year, about a year now? I miss my Kia just because I feel like you always get attached to your first, first car, I don't know. It was a lease, so I was gonna give it up anyways, but I just liked that it was like new and it was so smooth to drive and I miss it and I feel like I'll definitely go back to one if I can sometime. That's basically the story of why my car was totaled and it was a crazy story. I hope that never happens again and I actually like, have this fear like whenever I park on the street somewhere someone's gonna hit my car I doubt the same thing will happen and their car is gonna flip over that many times and all these trucks and police and ambulances are gonna come but you never know I never expected my first new car to be totaled I have a jeep compass I miss my Kia a lot but obviously it was totaled and I wasn't gonna be able to drive it so I got a Jeep Compass because they're a lot better in the winter and I live in a place where it snows a lot in the winter and my Kia would just slide all around. So I guess it's for the better because this winter I had not a single problem with my car. That is it for my story. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and listening to my story. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.